Sabaho everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about an application that will help you save not only time, but also help you manage your device as well as share information between two devices. We're talking about Files by Google. It's a great file management application for all of those things. But not only that, this makes transferring data from one Android device to another almost as fast as iOS users have been using with AirDrop. This is TK. Let's check it out. Like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you're always notified whenever we put out new videos on the channel. And the application we're talking about today is called Files by Google. So essentially just look for it. The Files by Google is clean up space on your phone. It's made directly from Google. Let's just install it. And once you install it and open up the application, let's go ahead and open it up here. Uh, the interface is very simple on both devices and it'll open up pretty much the same, except that the information on each device is unique to each one. Uh, the first tab that we look at essentially is the cleanup tab and it goes through and analyzes your device and it gives you the information that you have exactly in there. So it's, uh, as far as internal storage, SD cards if you have one on the device and of course if you don't have one it'll be there like that. Uh, and of course you can go into the browse functionality and that just categorizes the information that's on your device as well as your most recent files. You have downloads, images, video, audio, documents and other and of course applications and you can go in there. Now these are mostly applications that you've installed and these are only going to be the application APKs if you transfer them from one device to the other. Uh, and of course you can go APK installed uh, as well as the main one. Uh, on the left side, we have just a couple of options. So our settings, it just gives you the information as far as space saved. This is after it does any of its cleanups. Um, in the settings, we have notification access, clear history, pause, uh, basically search history if you don't want it to keep searching through the background, the naming of your device as you want to name each device uniquely, and of course, language and show hidden files if you have any hidden files that are set up in there. Uh, but other than that, I think the overall transfer process is really, really nice. So we'll go ahead and hit the transfer tab. And as you notice, it's asking us which one is sending and which one is receiving. And for this experiment, we're going to say we're sending it from the OnePlus and we're receiving on the Mate 20 Pro. And they're going to give it a second and boom, we are connecting. And now because I've connected them before, the connection is basically going to go really, really fast. So I'll say connect and we're pretty much done. And what we're going to do right now is do a quick test as far as transferring data between these two. I have this video from the XDA channel. I'm going to send it over and it's going to say allow. And you notice it just kicked in right away. Now, this is a 1.2 gig file and I'll say connect. And it started to transfer it and it's almost 26, 26, so oh, yeah, not that not that far, almost 30 seconds again for a 1.2 gig file between one device over to the other using Wi-Fi Direct. And that's the protocol that it's using to be able to transfer information. And at any time, you're able to basically stop the, uh, the transfer directly or you can go in there and basically stop it and start something else. I'll let this one finish and I want to show you guys basically how fast it does, obviously, smaller files. Sure enough, when you're done, it'll ask you if you want to send more files. We'll click it again. And again, you can go through, you can go jump over to your applications. Let's say you have an app here that you installed and you want to transfer it over there. Now, obviously I do have this, but let's say I want to transfer the Google One application. I'll just say send. It'll send it over. The application goes in here. And if it's not installed, it'll give me the option to install it. So I'll click it. It says settings here. It wants to get access since I don't have that. And I'll click it. And it'll give me the ability of installing this application. That's if you just don't already have it. Um, but if you do have it, everything gets done. And when you're done, you basically tap once to the left and it'll ask you, do you want to disconnect? And it'll go ahead, disconnect. And at that point, the device is done and you'll be able to go back to using your device normally. And again, it works really, really good. And some of the options here that it gives you are really, really nice. So it says confirm. There's 8.44 megabytes that it'll be able to clean up. And those are junk files. Junk files are leftover system and app files that are built over time. So we'll like clean. It'll clean it up. It'll give us that little uh, notification there. And then one of the other things is it'll also add up to the total amount of times here. And of course, you can go back into it and just use it as you normally expect. Very, very nice and very, very easy to use and very fast as far as transfer. The application is free and available on the Google Play Store and it is super simple to use. As you saw, it's categorized by basically three functions. You have the cleanup tab, you have the file management tab, and you have the sharing tab, which by the way is Wi-Fi Direct if you haven't used it before. It's just that it makes it super simple and super easy to initiate the communication method between the two devices. As you saw, all I had to do was say I'm sending and I'm receiving and literally within 10 seconds, I had the connection established and I was ready to push a 30 second transfer of a 1.2 gig file from one phone to the other. So really simple again, and it, it, it's free and you can't really complain to that. And it is by far one of the best file managers that we have. Uh, I actually wish this one's actually installed on all of our devices, but again, it's an option for us now. Let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think of this application? Now I've used other file management uh, as far as applications and they do support file sharing, but the process isn't as smooth and as easy as it is here with files by Google. So just that's the reason why I'm recommending it. 
Let me know in the comments below as you guys always do. Thank you very much for the support. Like and subscribe as usual and share this with all your friends that have Android devices that just always like the transfer files, but it's just find it too complicated to do just the simple method of using Android Beam. Again, I'll see you guys in the next video.